So good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world. I just wanted to talk about today a little bit another question that comes up and you can see it on the screen. Am I on the right path? And it's Philip Wade here from the Universal Studio in North Yorkshire. So this question, am I on the right path or how do I know I'm on the right path uh, comes up a lot. A bit like the one I was talking about yesterday about releasing pain and emotions and so forth. And again, it's a good question to, uh, and frequently comes up for obvious reasons. How do I know I'm on the right path? Am I on the right path? And the short answer to it is yes, but there's a bit more to it than that because you can never, there is really no wrong or right path, although some of them for sure will be experienced as easier than others. And the reason you can't, there isn't really a wrong or a right path is something that is not widely understood. And it's this, is that actually in truth, that which you are seeking, the true essence, the realized self, is that which you already are. I'll say that again. That which you are seeking is that which you truly already are. Now, this may not seem like your experience if you're in the midst of deep suffering right now. And that's because you're believing in the conditioning of the identified egoic mind. And again, there's no right or wrong about that. That's just a function of the experiences you've had to this point. Now, the key thing is if there's suffering present, we often see that from the space of a mind as challenges and difficult and so forth. And for sure, there are some very traumatic experiences <clears throat> that people have in life. But if you can look at this from a higher perspective, and I did a little video the other day called Who Am I? And that's further down uh, the page. You might like to try that five minute exercise you'll see that actually you are beyond and before the mind. You are in fact infinite awareness or infinite consciousness. And there's never been a time and there never will be a time that you are not that. So seeing, feeling, accepting, embracing, but not becoming the experiences that are here right now, witnessing, as I call it, silent witnessing, and see the life I did yesterday about transmuting fear into love, will automatically dissolve all of the pain and conditioning that's present. And if you allow that and see that those challenges, those difficulties as invitations rather than challenges, invitations to dissolve that which you are not. Then a deeper clarity, a deeper awareness and a release of the suffering is going to automatically unfold. There really is no wrong or right path, but the more that you take life's invitations and life is always presenting opportunities and invitations to open to the true essence that you are, the path will be less rocky. It will become more synchronous and more graceful. And the more that you trust in the inner essence or the infinite essence or the infinite silence that you are, that unfolding, that flowering is going to become easier. You see, we often see paths as things that are unfolding in front of us, and that's because we're so used to space, time, form, and so forth. But actually, in truth, the path is leading to us, to us, to the inner 
infinite dimensions and in inner is not a direction it's an infinite set of dimensions so you can never be ultimately on the wrong or the right path one is simply allowing life to unfold in front of you and if you can take the opportunities and invitations from life from this higher space of awareness using tools like the who am i exercise on the video i did the other day and the transmuting fear into love process the silent witnessing i've just talked about then this process is going to become clearer and simpler and more obvious to you and it's about trusting that which is already here within you and as you and I've actually got um, a blog I wrote probably two or three years ago that expands upon this a little bit further. And it's called Spiritual Stepping Stones. And if you're on my page right now watching this, it's actually in, it should appear as the very first comment on this live. If you happen to be watching on a watch party where somebody's shared it, then I'll see that a watch party has been uh, created and I should be able to put that comment in there, that link in there. So just put link if you need that or if you can't find it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share. There is no right or wrong path and it leads to you that which you already are, that which you are seeking is that which you already are. And look up those two little resources, who, the Who Am I Five Minute Live and the Transmuting Fear Into Love, which I did yesterday. And I'll do a quick shout out to Shauna because I know uh, you've been watching and several others. So namaste to you all. Have a great day, morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.